What's going on? How you doing? My name is Dave the Crook and today I'm going to show you how to mix the baby type vocals. But before we get into the video, I want to remind you to hit the subscribe button, also hit the like button and turn the notification bell on so you stay up to date with the videos I will be posting. I have this song here. It's by Lil JJ. The song is called What You Do. The song is already out so I'll link I'll put the link to the song in the description so you can check out the full song. I'm going to play the hook and part of the verse just so you can get a feel of the song and then we'll start from there on how to mix the baby type vocals. What you doing, what you doing, where you at late nights And I'm swooping, take you right back to my pack Girl, I like the way you moving, go ahead, do it Throw it back on a nigga, but don't talk about the future we don't have Girl, what you doing, what you doing, where you at late nights And I'm swooping, take you right back to my pack Girl, I like the way you moving, go ahead, do it Throw it back on a nigga, but don't talk about the future we don't have Girl, don't talk about the future that we have Cause that shit don't exist, bitch, you know I'm finna laugh When you come tell me some shit that I did in the past I'ma tell you keep moving like your foot up on the gas And you gotta keep moving, you gotta keep going Every day improving, every day I'm growing And you know she grooving, every time I'm flowing Cause yeah, you know she gon' see me when I'm blowing Yeah, I can tell that So, there you go, that's the hook and part of the verse I freaking love like the backgrounds like the doves and the ad-libs on this song it just goes hard like it's just perfectly mixed now we're just gonna start from fresh so i ended up taking off all the plugins all i left was pretty much this little stuff here that way i don't have to find it i already know what reverb and what delayed stuff to use on the vocals one of the first things with the baby his vocals they sound dope like you have like that good amount of bass in the vocals and then there's a good amount of highs but there's not too much like most rap songs nowadays you get what i mean so there's a boost on it but it's well tamed with the de-esser so that's one of the things we're going to be focusing on also we're going to add a good amount of auto-tune some big spacious reverb some delay but most of the delay is just going to go on the dubs and the ad-libs but we're not going to focus on that we're just going to be focused on the main vocals as of right now one of the first things i like to do on mixing the baby type vocals is just pretty much level everything now you can use a plugin like vocals Wave Rider, you can use a plugin that I'm gonna use is by WA Productions Outlaw. And you could or you could just automate it, I guess, if you really wanna just go in here by yourself, really focus in here and then do all those little automations. That just takes too long. So I use Outlaw. So pretty much what it's gonna do, it's gonna automate the vocals. So in certain parts, like let's say he brings his head back and he's rapping and it quiets down just a little bit the plugin's gonna do it's gonna grab that vocal and it's gonna bring it up just a little bit so everything's just pretty much leveled so that way the compressor doesn't have to overwork and it pretty much does most of the job and as you could tell i have to mix at 50 percent just because i don't want to do all of the vocals i just want half of it there's not really a free plugin for this you just have to buy a plugin this one was like six bucks i think when i got it and it works perfect what you doing? Where you at? Late nights, and I'm swooping, take you right back to my pack, girl. I like the way you moving. Go ahead, do it. Throw it back on a nigga, but on. So as you can see, some parts it lowers it a little bit, and some parts it brings it up. It just depends on how he said it and how how much emphasis he put into it. So like the future we don't have. When he said uh, something, something, something future we don't have. Instead of saying have, and it goes down, that wave instead of going down, it picks it up. So the plugin's picking that we don't have. So then it just kind of carries out the have just a little bit and it just die right down. Like it keeps the vocals pretty much steady, <laughs> if that makes sense. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is just a simple compressor. And if you've seen any of my other videos, you know my go-to plugins. And some of the plugins I'm gonna be using, some of it I'm gonna switch it up. But for sure, I'm gonna use the Rvox just because, oh my God, this plugin's dope. And it's gonna help with the high end on the vocals because when you mix the baby type vocals you want to have a good high end but you don't want to overdo it also so i'm just going to do a simple 2 db compression girl what you doing what you doing where you at late nights and i'm swooping take you right back to my pack girl i like the way you moving go ahead do it throw it back on a nigga but don't talk about the future we don't have and this is pretty much just to get those peaks of the vocals because vocals are very dynamic there's so much going on in the human voice when you say how you say it the emphasis you put in and whether you carry out a note or whatever so it's just so much dynamics that i don't want to squish it so i just did a 2 db compression and as you can tell it's not hitting every word it's only hitting the words that 
need to be compressed. Be right back to my pack, girl. I like the way you move and go ahead, do it, throw it back on a nigga, but don't talk about the So for example, right there, it was it wasn't compressing, but once he said talking, then that's when the compressor hit. And as you if you really look at it, it's mostly hitting these peaks. Other than that, for example, like all of this here, it's not really touching it. It's just talk. Uh, whatever this word is here, it's just compressing those little peaks just because I want to keep the dynamics in the vocals because you don't want to over compress it just because just in general, you don't want to over compress vocals and the baby, his vocals aren't really that compressed. The next plugin I'm going to be using is just a simple EQ. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out some of the bass, but not too much just because I will be adding some bass later on. And it kind of contradicts everything, but you'll see what I do later on. And I'm just going to do a simple probably about like 130 cut just because this artist vocals he doesn't have that much bass in his voice in his voice so i'm not going to cut that much the future we don't have yeah you know i do this making all this music play me once i guarantee your friend gonna be like who this dripped up suited flexing with my new bitch come between my money i'm gonna break you like a toothpick I ain't playing, no, I ain't been stuck on me like she's some pain And I'm watching these numbers go up like I just filled up my tank If you listen to my shit pull up and you know what's in my drink and the way I am And as you could tell, I kept the slope at a 12 dB just because I don't want to cut everything out Like if I put a 40, 48 slope, you ju you're going to cut out all the power You're going to just suck the life out of the vocals and you don't want that So you just kind of do a simple 12 dB curve slope just so you could keep the bass in it but you're also cutting out up to 120. And I also did a reduction at 395, just cause that's kind of where the boxiness of the vocals is and you don't want that. You want the vocals to be nice, non-boxy. And I did a boost at, what was it? 5,300 Hertz. I did a 1.5 dB boost just to bring up some of the high end. I will be bringing up the, some more high end right now actually with the plugin that I'm gonna be using by Waves. It's the Pultec. EQ. If you don't have this EQ and you're using Logic, you could just go to EQ, Vintage, 2BQ, same thing. If you're going to boost the low end, put this at 100, boost it. And that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to boost some of that high, I'm going to boost some of that low end just to add a little bit more bass to the vocals just because the baby has a good amount of bass in his vocals, but you want to make sure you don't overdo it just because it does introduce some mud into it, but for the most part, we're just gonna add probably about two, 2.5 dB boost. Handle my money, you think I work at a bank. People started hating and they seen that I am capable. Yes, I am the golden, you know this shit ain't debatable. And you know I'm finna be blowing up like inflatables. I just need a bitch I can kick it with who relatable. Are you at? What you doing? What you doing? Where you at? Late nights and I'm swooping, take you. And as you can tell, when I turned it off and turned it back on, you got some of that bass in there. You got some of those highs going, and that's good. We're gonna add one more plugin. That's the SSL. I like saying this is a must-have when you're mixing. Wrong one. I like saying this is a must-have plugin when mixing vocals, but honestly, you don't need it. I like it. Well, I can say I love it just because. I use it on everything, honestly. And I'm just gonna do a little bit more cut, probably about same thing, 130. Are you what you doing? What you doing? Where you at? Late nights, and I'm swooping, take you right back to my pack, girl. I like. And as you could tell, when I cut all the way, you're getting some of that boxiness, and you just lose the life out of it. So a cool trick to do is just to EQ all of it out and just slowly bring it back. What you doing? What you doing? Where you at? Late nights and I'm swooping. Take you right back to my pack, girl. I like the way you moving. Go ahead, do it. Throw it back on a nigga, but don't talk about the future we don't have. Girl, what you doing? What you doing? Where you at? Late nights and I'm swooping. Take you right back to my pack, girl. And with this compression, I am doing a little bit more compression, just because. At the same time, you want to compress the vocals, but I am doing a pretty fairly quick release. It's about 15 2 dB compression, uh, compression, and I ended up cutting about 128, a little bit more than the other EQ, but it's okay, just because uh, the curve slope of this EQ is not gonna take out too much. I will be doing another boost at 16K. I, on the pool tech, I boosted 12K, but for this one, I'm gonna do 16K, just because the more you boost with this plugin, the more color and the more of that SSL 
is going to go onto that vocal and that's what i'm going for is just mostly the color of the ssl onto the vocals Leo, Leo. what you doing what you doing where you at late nights and i'm swooping take you right back to my pack girl i like the way you moving go ahead do it throw it back on a nigga but don't talk about the future we don't have Girl, what you doing? What you doing? Where you at? Late nights, and I'm swooping, take you right back to my pack. Girl, I like the way you moving. Go ahead, do it, throw it back on a nigga, but don't talk about is. the future we don't have. Yeah, you know I do this, making all this music. So as you could tell, some of the high is just it's cutting in. It's not overdoing it, but it's there, and you could hear those S's, which, in a sense, we're gonna need to DS. But I'm just gonna add one more plug-in and that's just a simple compressor stock logic and it's going to be the vintage and the reason i'm going to use this one just because it's going to bring in some more of those highs onto the vocals but it's not going to overdo it and the way to do it just put the auto gain on off by the way vintage fet my go-to compressor use this on vocals trust me put the auto gain on off ratio two to one it's okay and you, all you're going to do is just put this distortion on soft put the attack and the release auto and then just get probably about like one, two dB of reduction. And then you don't want to overdo it, like I said. Are you at? What you doing, what you doing, where you at? Late nights and I'm swooping, take you right back to my pack. Girl, I like the way you moving, go ahead. So this is with the off and I'm gonna turn the distortion on soft. And you could see how much highs it adds to the vocals and it just makes it sound so good. Are you at? What you doing, what you doing, where you at? Nights and I'm swooping, take you right back to my pack. Girl, I like the way you moving. Go ahead, do it, throw it back on a nigga. But don't talk about the future we don't have. Girl, what you doing? What you as you can tell, once I put that distortion on soft, it brought up some of those highs. It also made the vocals seem a little bit fuller. They're not really fuller, but due to the compression, it makes it feel fuller. And that's what you want, just because you want the vocals to sit within the mix. Some people put the vocals on top of the mix quote unquote like it's louder than the beat for what that means but i like mixing it i like making it feel like it's one complete project now pretty much the last thing i'm gonna do is just add a deesser and the deesser i'm going to be using is siblings by waves i love this plugin my go-to deesser you at? what you doing what you doing where you at late nights and i'm swooping take you right back to my pack girl i like the way you moving go ahead do it throw it back on a nigga but don't talk about the future we don't have girl what you doing what you doing where you at i like using this siblings just because it takes out the s's as well as other certain frequencies that don't really sound good to the ears it also takes it out so if you really monitor it It's that G, those S's, the d, 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 like that noise. You don't really want to hear that. Before that, I should have added auto tune. <laughs> so I'm just going to add a pitch correction. I think the song's in C minor, if I'm not mistaken. So just put natural minor, go to C, put this on low just because the range is low. If you're mostly on guys, you want to put it on low. For the most part, if you're recording a female, you could put the range on normal or you could keep it on normal. It's up to you. I like putting it on low just because male voices, they're a little bit more deeper than a regular person's voice. So you just want to make sure you're getting those low octaves if you were to map out the frequencies. Are you Girl, at, yeah. what you doing? What you doing? Where you at? Late nights and I'm swooping. Take you right back to my pack. Girl, I like the way you moving. Go ahead, do it. Throw it back on a nigga. But don't talk about the future we don't have. So I ended up putting the response at 29 just because you the baby he has autotune on his vocals, but a lot of it is just rapping. So you don't really you I mean you you could really hear it honestly, but you don't want that full autotune. You just want a good amount where it's there, but you're still able to pretty much rap. You're still able to freely flow into the song. You're free you're freely able to take the song where you want to take it without the autotune messing up the vocals too much so i ended up putting it at 29.3 for this song now that's pretty much it for the plugins now i'm just gonna add the last plugin it is is the s1 imager by ways it's pretty much i'm just gonna widen up the vocals now what this is gonna do it's gonna widen it up so the vocals seem a lot fuller too now if you don't have this you could just use go to imaging studio spread if you're using logic you just want to put this at zero 
I would say don't go past 25. Now, yeah, don't go by don't go past 25. I'll probably say about 20. Put this low frequency above 500 and so it's going to do the same thing. It's going to spread those vocals, but it's going to spread everything above 630 or wherever you put it. It's going to spread that vocal and it's going to make it sound a lot wider. And it's going to sound make it sound like dope. So cool trick you could try. Pretty much the last thing I'm going to do is just add like these little not little plugins but cuz they make a huge difference but it's just these simple but yet effective plugins and the first one I'm going to add is a preamp and if you see my other videos you know little radiator my go to preamp but for this video just because I kind of want a little bit more highs in the his vocal I'm going to be use a plugin by Soft Tubes saturation knob this plugin is free so if you if you really like the plugin you can just search up softtubes.com saturation knob download it for free and the way I use it I bust it so you could really put the plugin onto it but then you kind of got to work with this knob a little bit more I like doing it the other way I like putting it on a bus turning the saturation all the way on and then just slowly introducing it Girl, what you doing, what you doing, where you at late nights And I'm swooping, take you right back to my pack Girl, I like the way you moving, go ahead, do it, throw it back On a nigga, but don't talk about the future we don't have Girl, what you doing, what you doing, where you at late nights And I'm swooping, take you right back to my pack Girl, I like the way you moving, go ahead, do it, throw it So as you could tell, it brought up some of that high energy out of his vocals some saturation added some harmonics into the vocals it made it louder it made it even a little fuller just because it's introducing other harmonics into his vocals so pretty much the harmonics that added it mixes with the normal harmonics and it just adds this cool fuller effect so the vocals feel fuller i mean like they are fuller and then i'm gonna add a vocal doubler this plugin's free it's by isotope just search up www.isotope.com Search up vocal doubler and then I put the separation at 32, the variation at 26. I put the full amount of effect and same thing as saturation off. You could put it onto the vocal chain if you want, but it's a little tricky to work with. So I just put full effect and I just bust it in. I also EQ'd some of that low. So from 500 back, I EQ'd it just because I don't want the doubling of the lower frequencies just because it introduces mud and it just kind of kills the vocals overall if you overdo it so that's why I just cut it just because I want from pretty much from 600 all the way to 20k that's what I want doubled that's what I want to feel fuller girl what you doing what you doing where you at late nights and I'm swooping take you right back to my pack girl I like the way you moving go ahead do it throw it back on a nigga but don't talk about the future we don't have so as you could tell, there's not that much like, oh my God, you could really hear it. You can't really hear it, but it's there. It's doubling those higher frequencies, making the making the vocals seem a lot fuller. And it's also bringing in more harmonics, more frequencies into the vocals, making it fuller, bringing in some more of that high end. And the way I did it is I added saturation and then the vocal doubler. Now you could do the opposite. You could add the doubler and then the saturation, but I realized that it just doesn't sound too much just because there's already double frequencies and then adding more of it it just kind of sounds kind of weird so this is the way i do it you should try it out do doubler then saturation find out where it works best for you but this is the way i find that works best for me now the last thing i'm gonna do is add some delay and the delay i added is a 1 8 delay put the bpm host i cut some of those lows out of it analog on zero and the feedbacks at 40 I am gonna add a side chain to the delay onto the vocals just for it to sound better and the way I'm gonna do that is I'm just gonna add a simple compressor probably add this one put the distortion on soft auto gain off side chain it to bus 2 and then the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a fairly quick release and a pretty quick attack just because I want the vocals to compress I want the delay to be compressed 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 until you hear a pause in the voice and then I want the delay to come out just to add movement to the vocals girl what you doing what you doing should probably add some <laughs> 
Girl, what you doing, what you doing, where you at late nights And I swoop and take you right back to my pack Girl, I like the way you moving, go ahead, do it Throw it back on a nigga, but don't talk about the future we don't have Girl, what you So pretty much, as you can really hear it Something, 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 future we don't have And then there's a pause So that's where I kind of want that delay to pop in You know, so it's compressed, compressed, compressed We don't have, and then it's kind of like we don't have And then it comes in, so I could play it again about the future we don't have girl what you and you can hear on this one just because ping pong so we don't have and then you hear it we don't have and then with the dubs and the ad libs it's just adding so much it, does, but it doesn't overdo it that's the thing now the next thing i'm doing is pretty much just add some reverb let me move this here and the reverbs i chose are specific to this song just because every song is going to choose a different delay and i've noticed with the baby he adds a good amount of reverb it's there you could hear it but it's not overdoing so it's not like completely submerged the vocals aren't completely submerged into the reverb it's just there to add space so that's what i'm gonna go and i also use two reverbs space designer and little play i ended up cutting that low out of it just because i don't want anything below 500 to have reverb just because like i said it adds mud to it and you just want pretty much the main body of the vocals to have the reverb and the reverb I chose is from Space Designer. It's called Big Plate, 4.4 seconds. So I think it's in their plate, Big Plate, 4.4 seconds. About the future that we have, cause that shit don't exist. Bitch, you know I'm finna laugh when you come tell me some shit that I did in the past. I'ma tell you, keep moving like your foot up on the gas. And you gotta keep moving, you gotta keep going. Every day improving, every day I'm growing. And you know she groove. And the second reverb I use is Little Plate by Sound Toys, if I'm not mistaken. Damn, I forgot where it's from. Yeah, by Sound Toys, Little Plate, dope reverb. I love this. Go to, I put it at, what is it, about three seconds? About the future that we have, cause that shit don't exist. Bitch, you know I'm finna laugh when you come tell me some shit that I did in the past. I'ma tell you, keep moving like your foot up on the gas, and you gotta keep moving, you gotta keep going, every day improving. The way I choose my reverbs, I go based off the vocals. So if you really hear it, and like your foot up on the gas, and you gotta keep moving, you gotta keep going, every day. So when he says, you gotta keep going. That's when I want the reverb to continue, and that's the decay time, which is, for here it's 4.4 seconds, for here I have it at 3.5, I guess, so you gotta keep, or I forgot what it says, <laughs> let me hear. Moving, you gotta keep going, every day. So when he says, you gotta keep moving, you gotta keep going, you want that reverb to carry the vocals until he starts again, and then that's when you kind of want the decay to end because you're gonna start adding more reverb to it. You could also sidechain it. I've done plenty of songs where you sidechain the reverb and what it does is just kind of lowers the reverb and then when that part comes out, that's when the reverb comes in. That's good to use. It's kind of tricky messing with the attack and the release time. So I just kind of leave it like this for the most part. But when I do need to sidechain it, I will sidechain it. And that's pretty much it. That's how you mix the baby type vocal. You want to add a good amount of bass into the vocals. You want to have a nice high end, but don't overdo it like most modern rap songs nowadays. You want to add a good amount of reverb, but don't overdo it like most rap songs nowadays. And you just want to add like some nice harmonics. You want to make the vocals sound nice and full. Girl, what you doing? What you doing? Where you at late nights? And I'm swooping, take you right back to my path. I could even lower the vocals probably about a dB or two and it'll still sound good. And then when I add the dub, the ad libs, the outro, it's just going to add more dynamics to the song. It's just going to bring out the song all together. So that's pretty much it. This is how you mix the baby type vocals. Like I said, the song is already out. So I'll put the link to the song down below in the description so you can check it out. Check out the full song. It's a really good song. Now, if you want your song mixed and mastered by me, feel free to hit me up on my Instagram or my email or click the link going to my website and you'll see everything there and i want to remind you to hit the subscribe button also hit the like button and leave a comment telling me what type of artist vocals you would like to see me mix next hope you have a good day my name is dave the crook and i hope to see you next time peace